Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.40 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is use the mass current method to find the power delivered the, by the 400 volt source in the circuit seen in figure P4.40. So this is the voltage source that we are talking about. So this one and we need to find out the power delivered by this voltage source and we are asked to use the mass current method okay so the loop method let's draw the loop first maybe let's start from here and here is loop i1 and here is loop i2 and here is loop i3 okay i3 and note that our Vx here, okay, let's make a note here, note that our Vx is equal to I1 minus I3, I1 minus I3 multiplied by 20, okay, multiplied by 20, maybe let's put 20 in front, so this will be 20 I1 minus I3. Okay, let's start doing KVL at each loop. So now let's do KVL at loop I1. Okay, and KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, we start from this voltage source and we are going clockwise here and the current is entering from the negative polarity. So the sign will be negative. So I'll have minus. And the uh, magnitude is 400. And then plus, we will have 7.5 multiplied by I1. 7.5 multiplied by I1. And then what else? We will have 20. So we'll have plus 20 multiplied by, again, I1. However, here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So we'll have minus I3. And then this one here, so I will have plus 15, again multiplied by I1, but then I2 is going to the opposite direction. And all of that will equal to zero. And let's move this 400 to the right hand side. And for I1 here, I have 20 plus 15, that is 35, and 35 plus 7.5. So I will have 42.5. We'll have 42.5 I1. And then we will have minus 15 I2. And then minus 20 I3. Okay, all of that will equal to 400. And let's have this as equation number one. Okay, let's do another KVL, but this time at loop I2. Okay, KVL at loop I2. Again, the sum of the voltage is equal to zero. And we start from this 20 kilo ohm. So I'll have 20 multiplied by I2. And then plus, for this one, I will have 15 multiplied by I2. But then I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so minus I1. And then plus, we will have 10, again multiplied by I2, but then I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. Okay, and all of that will equal to 0. Okay, I1 is only came from here, so I will have minus 15 I1. And I2 is coming for all of the places. So I'll have 20 plus 15, that is 35. 35 plus 10, that will be 45. So I'll have 45 I2. And then I3 only came from here, so I will have minus 10 I3. All of that will equal to 0, and we have equation number 2. Okay, let's do another KVL, but this time at number 3. Okay, KVL at loop I3. 
again the sum of the voltage will equal to zero okay mm so we will have this one here so i will have 20 and then we will have i3 minus i1 because i1 is flowing to the opposite direction and then we will have this one which is plus vx over 2 but remember vx is this value here so divide this by 2 so we will have 10 multiplied by i1 minus i3 that is vx over 2 and then lastly we'll have 10 kilo ohm here so we'll have plus 10 multiplied by i3 but then i2 is flowing to the opposite direction all of that will equal to zero okay now let's distribute this so i will have minus i1 multiplied by 20 so i'll have minus 20 minus 20 plus 10 we will have minus 10 for i1 okay and then i2 only came from here so i will have minus 10 i2 and then what else for i3 this is come from here so i will have 20 minus 10 20 minus 10 is 10 and then 10 plus 10 that will be 20. So I will have plus 20 I3. All of that will equal to zero. And we can save this as equation number three. Okay, so far we have three equations and three variables. We should be able to solve this. Uh, let's clean up the board and solve it. Okay, so far we got our three equation here let's solve this using the fastest way which is calculator okay let's set up our calculator as equation solver which is number five and three variables is number two and let's plug in the coefficient so i'll have 42.5 and then minus 15 then minus 20 and then on the right hand side we will have 400 okay that's good and then minus 15 and then 45 and then minus 10 okay and that will equal to zero then we will have minus 10 and then minus 10 and then 20 and then zero okay so i will have i1 is equal to 20 which is very nice number so we'll have i1 is equal to 20 ampere and what is i2 i2 is 10 10 ampere and then i3 is 15 ampere okay all of them is a nice number so the question is asking us for the power okay so the power by this 400 volt so the power by that 400 volt that will be the voltage multiplied by the current the voltage is 400 and then the current is i1 right this is i1 and i1 is 20 ampere so i have 20 and we will have this is equal to 8000 watt or that will equal to 8 kilowatt and I think that is the answer, the final answer for this question. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.